head into our second replay here, if I'm correct. Are you ready? Uh, uh, I am ready, yep. Uh, so the chat vote has been reset. Uh, we're going to go ahead and jump into Hoxiel versus N. Dot game 1. And we're going to start it in 3, 2, 1. Okay, so we have N dot to the southwest of the map in purple, Hoxiel to the north in green. N dot going with tier 1 plus wolf as his build. No turrets, nothing. No tier 2s. That's a really interesting build, I think. I mean, theoretically, if you have a large horde of tier 1 units, uh, it's the most effective way to use a wolf. So we'll give him that. Right. If he does get a wolf out, uh, Hasu is going to be in some trouble. Uh, potentially. It does give him a lot of um, variety in counters in the early game. And so maybe he can uh, get an advantage yeah. there and then just build the wolf and snowball. Hoxiel actually doesn't have any area of effect. AoE attacks. Uh, he's got Ooh. a sniper even. Which means that if, if Endot can get a large tier 1 army and, and a wolf, uh, Hoxie isn't going to have anything to counter it. Except maybe Falcons. They might be able to get the damage out. But not against a wolf army. Uh, that's going to be really tough for Hox. Uh, normally we see players going for a skunk. Uh, just gives them that variety in being able to deal with any tier 1 bulls that occasionally crop up. Instead he's gone for Ferret, which is... Also a popular unit, but it does leave him lacking in, uh, in some counters. All right, and we get Hoxiel with the early squirrels. Early squirrel. The first squirrel is firing, and Dot jumps up on that high ledge to give his uh, his pigs vision. One pig is down, and Dot uh, drag your mole. And Dot needs to use the mole. Oh no, the farm, the farm gets taken down again. So that's 120 food that just went to waste there. Because he tries to rebuild the farm and it gets killed again. That was a big loss for Endot there. Endot uh, trying to decide what to do. He's built a warren and then sold a warren and then built it again. Uh, Hoxiel is going to go ahead and buy this base here to have a little bit of forward. Okay. Maybe a little bit of a shield for his units. Not dragging his units around. Those lizards, of course, are going to beat squirrels in a straight up fight. But he, but because he does they're... have more squirrels than uh, Endot has lizards, so that's... That was tough. He does. The lizards there. Eight squirrels out now for Hoxiel, going up to 12. Endot doesn't have any kind of defensive structures, so he has no panic button. He really doesn't. This is going to result in massive losses from here. Hoxiel really does tend to like this uh, early aggressive build a lot of units play. So, um... Three farms down now. This is, this is a big deal. I don't know if Hawk and Doc can even come back from this. He does have all six lizards wow, out. He's still full. He has his pigeons out as well, so that'll help a lot. Twelve squirrels on the field for Hawkslay. That's that's quite a formidable army. Three minutes into the game, especially Four squirrels. With, especially against, against no defensive structures. Yeah, yeah. Eight farms to six. Hawkseal getting out hawks now. That's only gonna make the situation worse for Endot. And those squirrels just eating through Endot's army. Another farm, rebuilding farm goes down. That farm goes oh, down, and he might win the game right here. Two squirrels left. That base is Can so he off the base? Oh, and both units die oh, at the last okay. minute. But it looks like Hoxiel's just gonna stream squirrels in here. A pigeon yeah, desperately. Just beat him down here. That pigeon desperately trying to keep its units alive, but that's it. Oh. Really good early aggressive play uh, from Hox there, which is something he tends to like doing. Yeah, nice steady stream of units. Um, and just kind of keeping up that pressure there, not letting Endot take a break. Uh, combined with Endot not having any defensive structures, you know, a couple turrets thrown down on that high ground would have helped a lot. Um, but as it was, with even with so many tier 1 units, just not able to do it. Definitely. It was a unfortunate turn of events for Endot there. Yeah. Alright, well let's right, jump into Are we ready to our... go into the third game? 